Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. The rain has let up a bit. Yeah, I know. I, I'm looking outside. And I think it's going to clip. Well, it's going to clear up later on. I'm going to go for a little paddle with the group tonight. So I got this video, take Ted out for his business and kind of get ready for a little paddle. I'm trying out a new board. So I need a new board. I, I don't need one, but I want one. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get one. Uh, <laughs> So we're going to do, talk about condo stay between four hundred and six hundred thousand dollars range. We're going to show the viewer different areas, locations, look at uh, what the amenities are, what the location offers, condo fees, and then kind of look at solds and what the viewer can expect in that price range. And there's some inventory. There is inventory. So yeah. I'll do my the numbers first because yeah. it actually uh, shocked me. So here, mm -hmm. between four and six hundred thousand. Yep. One hundred thirty-seven actives in that range. That's unbelievable. That's a big, massive freaking number. That's a massive number, Mark. Yep. Massive. In June twenty twenty-four, in that range, eighteen sales. Yeah, that's that. That's unbelievable, right? So. 13% of the inventory is selling. And, and the like, average days on market were 53. Yeah. Yeah. So you went through with 18 sales to the history, pulled it up like we did the other video. Yeah. Real good video. So those are true numbers. So again, out of that 53 summer, that's the average. Some are longer, some are shorter. But that buyer is telling me that, that there's a lot of inventory and that buyer has a lot of choice today. In that well, purchase. that's huge numbers. Mm. Condos are taking a beating. Like, yes, we see sales. Yes, take some time. I ran into a friend of mine that sold his in Nautica last, maybe two, three weeks ago. I was on the board for six months. It's one mm -hmm. bed. Right. Well, the June numbers, and we'll do condos a little in yeah. another video, but um, the total June with 30 and last year, 64. Yeah. Yeah. Taking a beating. Beating. You know, and like us, we, we are seeing some activity, but, you know, only only the ones that are on facing the water. Well, yeah, exactly. So here's some of the listings. Now, I'm what I'm going to do, though, uh, I need to get to the, there we go. There we go. We're in the client now. Okay. All right. Now, the ones in Timberwalk, if people know, they have big fees and Timberwalk is not necessarily, like they're cheap, Mark, 418, two bedroom, one bathroom, almost a thousand square feet. Mm -hmm. But the, the construction here is like two by four and it's, I don't know, it's not the, it's not the greatest development, right? It's not. Don't go there. Bottom line, I'll say it. Don't go there. It's yeah. not good. tons of rentals. A lot of, uh, you know, it's it's almost like it's called Timber Walk. It's almost like a little development within itself of a bunch of condos, condo buildings, and townhouses that are all with big fees, right? Well, they got high fees, because and and they're old too, right? There's lots of there's a lot of turnover in there. You know, our buddy had one for sale. It took multiple for sale. He finally got rid of them and they were tenanted and bed bugs. Like that was the biggest thing, bed bugs. Bed bugs can go different areas as we know. So just, I would well, not- And see how that. you have metal lane, metal lane, quail. I These are all, all in the same development, right? Yeah, keep, yeah, keep talking. About that. Yeah, they're all in the same development. So this this development is like, I don't know, it's got probably 12 or 15 streets in there. And um, there's another one in Meadow Lane. So there's a bunch in Met on Meadow Lane. There's Pheasant, Pheasant Trail. There's Loggers Run. All of those are the same development and they're all bigger, bigger fees. So wow. there's this one on Blake Street, which is 409 Days on the Market 66. The fees are six seventy nine. Older building, mm -hmm. but in this price range, Mark, that's what you're getting. You are, 
That's the thing. People can look at the price change, go, oh, I got two better for 400K. I, I like the location. It's great. I don't like the fee associated with this building. It's old, right? Great floor plan. Unit show is good. Nothing, nothing wrong with the unit. And it's pretty big. It's pretty big. But that $400,000 buyer can't afford the 600 and change, 700 and change condo fee. This is why the condo market's really suffering. Wow, right? it's got a big balcony. It's huge. But it's the fee. 679. Right. Wow, I got to get something for this dog. That's fine. I'll, I'll um, Coulter Street is also, it's in a parking lot up off Bayfield Street. Yep. <laughs> and there's no elevator there. None. No, don't like it. I think that's behind the Bayfield Mall, I think, in that area. And look at the fee, 607. Two bedrooms, 1,000 square feet, good size. It's the fee associated. Right? Yeah, this I've had people that uh, bought, like, sold in there and bought in there. Yeah. And it, they're big. They're big. I've sold in there years ago. They're big. But it is the friggin', friggin' fee associated with that unit. And I mean, it's right on Bayfield Street. It's right beside the mall. It's behind, yeah. Right, yeah, right behind it. And I mean, I think that one of the biggest things I have, well, a very, it's an older building. Um, one of the things I have with it is uh, the fact that there's no elevator. Well, yeah, it's going to exclude any older de demographic that's going to rely on that. It's going to be tough. It's going yeah, to be this tough. one is a main floor on the market, 28 days, 425. Yeah, it's going to, it's going to take a while for that to sell. So Worsley, do we want to look at that? You can. 429, that's downtown Barry. It's right near the courthouse. No. Not the greatest area. No, no. It's not. Stay away. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to enjoy it. No. And most of these, um, I don't know if this one, they don't have balconies, do they? Mm, some do. So I've seen the odd little terrace in there on some units. You know, it's, it's just, it's the, it's the fees that are very expensive too for what they're offering. This is the thing. Yeah, this this has a little. It looked like it. Uh, it had a little. Oh, well, that it does. And you see a little bit of water. Yeah. Like the building's fairly new, seven eight. Yeah, I got stuck in an elevator here in this building. Oh God. Me and Blair Smith and my client. Oh, I was I was having a meltdown. I was oh, like yeah. uh, sweating and like couldn't breathe. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. it was, was bad. Berserk. Yeah. So this is only five to 599 square feet. And the fee is this 597.81. And there's no pool or anything, right? It's nothing. Nothing. No. Where they, I'm going to let Ted back in. Where they include building insurance, cable. I don't even think there's a gym. I'm going to look to see. I don't think there is an underground parking spot, one owned. It does say there's a gym and a party room. So there is apparently a gym somewhere. Okay. So that's downtown, right by the courthouse. Unfortunately, not the greatest area. No, it's not. It's not. So Bell Farm, 449, Mark. Fees only 450. Yeah, cheap fees. Two bedroom. Two yeah. bedroom, two bath. Yep. Now, people think that there's a lot of students in here, but there isn't really. No, not at all. Oh my God, look at these pictures. Yeah, this is a problem. Fire the agent. I'm sorry, fire your agent because you can't make heads or tails of this. This is so bad. I think it's actually a pretty big unit. It's almost a thousand square feet. I, but I, I would can't know because they're undersized photos and he's taking them from, or she or he's taking them from their iPhone. That's what, that's what, so that's the message that the agent's really working hard for you. I yeah, guess is... And it's a nice unit. It's done up. But I wouldn't know that. Well, also at the Bell Farm, just so everybody knows, most of them, some of them do, but a lot of them don't have laundry. They have private la they have uh, laundry rooms downstairs. They do. It's all coin, pretty cheap, but it's decent. Like the fees are good, and it, 
and it's a quiet, it's a quiet building. People don't think that, but it is. I, I've showed there many times. I've sold in there too. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, Mark, look at this. 430 Essa Road, 454 Condo Townhouse on Essa. Well, I know, I know where it is. Yeah. This is new. Yeah, new where? It's two years old. Yeah. I haven't seen him any be listed yet. Oh yeah, I have. On this one, on this is Ferndale and Essa. It's right. It's right on the corner of Essa and Veterans, right across from Starbucks Shop and yeah. yeah, but let me tell you something, people. Shitty view and it's noisy. It's That's busy. a busy intersection. Very busy. Busy. Very busy. Busy. Yeah, very busy. I drive there like almost every day. And Other it, location, just don't want the noise, right? Because it's a, yeah, it's it's very busy. This that is unit shows good. Shows great. You're not sitting out there enjoying a cocktail on the balcony. If you are, you're just people watching. Is this your whole living room though? Um, looking at that, yeah, it looks small. Yes, yeah, so you got a bit of a side balcony from the bedroom too. Bedrooms are a little small, but. What are the fees? I think they're pretty expensive, which I don't get. Four twenty four thirty three. Not bad. Not bad then. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. One bedroom, six to six hundred ninety nine square feet. That's why it's so flipping small. Mm -hmm. I've seen smaller, but yeah, it's not. It's not huge. What's the price of that again? Four fifty four. It's a lot of money. I think so. Yeah, me too. So we have six pages of listings, Mark. Trying to keep going where you, you know, we're grouping them by area. So it makes it easier to talk about the areas in different locations. And that's a newer building. Hence the condo fees are pretty low. Um, okay. 681 Young Street, South End of Barry by the GO Train. Very expensive for 674. The numbers are all over the price from 423 to up to 480 for one bedroom. I don't, I don't, the pricing skewed in there. So it's I'm one sure. bedroom, one bath. Yep. It's 422. Yep. Fees are great. Location's great. Well, I don't I don't think that's a good fee for one bloody bedroom. How much is the fee again? 424. Yeah, it's not bad. I think it's bad because it's it's new. That fee's gonna go up. Well, they all go up. <laughs> They're all gonna go up. But I don't find it a bad fee. They're small, but the the, the layout's not bad. That's a better that's I, I've shown that in that building many times. I like the building. I like the location. I think the offer, it's good. They got a nice study room up there. Like you can go up to, I think the top floor and they got like a workstation area. It's good. I I, I really like the building. This is I, small as hell. Small. It is. It is small. Jeez. So this is people. South End by the GO station. Great location. New building. Yeah. Culinary Lane is close to that. Not far. Not far. So now we got one bedroom, one bath, yep. seven to 799 square feet, 476. Yep. This is expensive. Yeah, but one sold a couple months ago for 480 in there, one bedroom and a den. Right? Wow. They're selling in, in that for that range. Yeah. Again, that was a couple months ago when I had a, a young buyer looking for that type of unit. Well, and this would, one at least has a decent view. Yeah, and the layout's good. The layouts are good. Layout is good in those units. New, great location. Parking is a disaster, though, out there. Like, you have numbered parking. There's very limited uh, visitor parking as well. But new, new building. And there's a lot more... There's a lot more building going on there. They have a lot going on there. It's going to okay, be a so laundry yeah. is in suite. Yep. Um, fee is three thirty two. Yep. Barbecues are allowed. There's a games room, party yep. meeting room. Yep. It says visitor parking, but you're saying it's shitty. Yeah, there's not many visitor spots. It took me a while to find one, but and I this, like the layout. And this is one bedroom. Yep. This one is, and one bath on the market nine days. Correct. 
one bedroom at Den sold showed nicer in there. It sold for four eighty a couple months ago. So I think the price is a little bit high. And this is again South End by the ghost station. Southeast Barry, correct. Location's good. Okay, so Chef Lane is kind of the same, right? Okay. Yep, yeah, same location. Yep. 140 Dunlop. Hit downtown location, high fees, 962. That's what I mean. That is a high fee. A very high fee. It's a very four, high. 479, 900, one plus one bed, one yep. bath. It does have a pool. It yeah, does have a hot tub. It's got all the, the gym, but the building is older. Very much. A lot of them are dated. This one has been updated. Yep, it has. It shows well. Yeah, that's a newer kitchen. Yep, freaking right it is. New lighting, they spent some money. But they need, the building's 40. They need a lot of the units. I like the layouts. I like the building. You saw there years ago. It's great. It's I like the view. Neat. Got a nice view. No balconies though here. Most Nine. of them don't. 99% of them don't. You may get the other one on the on the level three with a small with a small little terrace area. Like it's cute. They spent some money. They did nice updates. It's the fee that's gonna make someone not move forward. They got den. These are big rooms, eh? They're, they're decent. It's just the fee that's a killer. So right. They do say the fee includes water, heat, hydro. Mm -hmm. um, you got your building, your insurance, your your parking. What's CAC? We talked uh, about that before. Yeah, it's because I I I think you actually get um I think you actually get basic cable in this building. Uh, Rita, I don't think you do. Some do, but I don't. I don't think this one does. My aunt has one in uh, my mom too. In their building was cable. They got rid of it last year. Inclusive utilities with the condo fee. Yeah. So like all the utilities are included in that. But the condo fees are cheap. The, 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 the utilities are cheap. I think I'm paying for mine on average 60 bucks a month. That's it. I know. It's cheap. It's cheap. Now these, this Penetang machine road, these are newer builds, 484, Four beds, four baths. Maintenance is a three ninety nine. It's a condo townhouse, okay. But a lot these things were built for students, right? So Stay. anybody looking at these things, keep in mind that most of them are student rentals. Correct, they are. They That's are. why they're four bed and four bath. Gotcha. Mm. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, I don't like them. That's, That's all the pictures there is. Yeah, yeah, no. So, like, if you're going, if you're looking for uh, something for you and your family to move into, it's a no. And that's a four hundred dollar fee per month mark when there's nothing. Yeah, you're not even in a building, really. Yeah, I don't. I don't like them at all. I don't like the location. I don't like any photo. No. Um, we're only on page two. Go over. It's okay. Go go to Lakeside Terrace. There's there's always a couple of buildings there. That's a newer building. Oh wait, wait. You know what I want to try? What is this? Ferndale. Mm -hmm. So there's ones off Ferndale. Off um, what is that other street? Um, Greenwich. That's it. Yep, Greenwich. Beautiful. Yep units in there yeah, i love the location i love the art of bluffs area it's a great area and um, you know why i can't show you any because i don't think there is any there so this is right across the road correct now i find parking here is a problem can be but it's not as busy as chef lane and those other ones not even well close. when i've shown in here mark like the visitor parking there isn't any i park in the flipping uh What's it called? Well, there is, but there's only a couple spots and it's always full. Yep. I park in the handicap and hope I don't Ooh. get a ticket. Ooh, there's three hundred dollars. Ouch! Don't well, do that. Well, I've never got a ticket, but there's yes. nowhere to park. Where do Where do you park? And you can't park on Ferndale. Oh, I can't park on Ferndale. No. So where, where do you park? It's tough. 
It's tough. I know it, it's, I it's a lot of these parking. things just don't have the, if they're offering outdoor parking for people and you have an assigned parking spot. It's, it eats all these spaces up. Like I like the layouts. I love them. Those layouts of those units. So do I. Right. It's cute. There's nothing wrong with that. I think the fee is pretty decent too. I'm going to check the fee right now. And they are, they do have balconies and they're allowed. All right. That's a decent sized balcony. And they're allowed barbecues. Yep. And uh, pets. Yep. Nothing wrong with that at all. No. Four eighty one ninety three. It's not bad for two bedroom. It's not bad. It's two bedroom and a bathroom. Yep. Decent size, decent square footage. There is underground owned spot. So let's let's break down that fee for a bit. So if someone was to say buy a say a two bedroom or three bedroom townhome, time you pay for water, let's say it's seventy five to hundred bucks a month. Your gas one fifty to one seventy five a month. Your hydro seventy five. There's a condo fee right there, almost eating it up. Yeah, I know. And you and you're still got a shovel drive and cut the lawn. So that's, and your taxes but, would be a lot higher too. They would. They would. Right. So that's the, that's the bit of the trade off. So people, that's why when I see a condo fee of four and change, I don't get scared because time you, you know what I mean? The next step up or some with a town home, you're going to be paying that anyway. For yeah. utilities. Gas is expensive. Right. So. Well, oh, and the other thing too, Mark is in this Ferndale green, which in this area, you're a five minute drive to the water. Not even. Oh yeah. It's close. I love the location. Location's good. Because I drive from my house, it's seven or eight minutes. And I don't find that a bad price for that two bedroom. It's not, not terrible. Me. I wish I could find some on Greenwich, but there are more money. So that right. that area is, I would call it like Central West. Well, yeah, Arda, Central, you can, West. Kind of, right? Yeah. So Lakeside Terrace you wanted to look at, two bed, two bath, 509. A lot of rentals in there. The units are small, right? This is 848 square feet. Yep. 576.83 is the fee. One underground parking spot. Oh, oh here's you're gonna problem. you're gonna lose your mind in like two seconds. I know. I just I just and this so if I'm losing my mind, what are what are what are buyers doing? They're going <laughs> next, you're getting missed. Again, fire the agent. It's just so, it's just not professional. I vent about it all the time because I'm seeing more and more, uh, more and more. But this is telling me that this is a part-time agent that doesn't do any business. And, and you're getting, these are the results you're getting. It's it's bad. It's just not. Well, bad. yeah, the pictures here are, are not. Let me details of layout, right? Yeah. Oh. oh Colter, geez. Wow. He should know better. Well, wow. he usually does do better. I bet you maybe it's tenanted and they, they wouldn't let them in. And he had to use old ones. I don't know. Oh, hold usually, on. he usually he doesn't do that. It's terrible. Doesn't say. Mark, something's weird though. Look at the, the last comment. Don't miss the opportunity to experience the best of Barry living in this fantastic rental at 215 58 Lakeside Terrace. Fantastic yeah. rental. Why, why is it a rental? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, but still, I mean, get pictures. I had, I had it where I had to use from my, from my seller because the tenant wouldn't let us in. We went yeah. there, but they yeah. wouldn't let us in. Yeah, it can happen. Oh, Coda. Like the location. So Coda is Southwest Barry. Right off Asa. I said Salem. And it's in a whole subdivision. And how old is it? Three or four years? Um, shoot, it's raining again. Um, four. One bedroom, one bath. Wait Fees 385. Like yeah. that to me makes more sense for what it is, but Jesus, five fifteen. 
also how I feel I'm better. Especially with the amount of inventory on the on the board in that in those ranges, that four to six range. And you're kind of not close to anything. I mean, I don't mind the location, but you're not close to the water or downtown. No, but it's a short drive. Like I've if someone's looking for quick access to 400, it's there. Shopping, it's there. Quick drive on hop on the highway and you're in Dunlop and you're at the at the water, you're there. I, I never mind the location. I, I was okay with the location. It's just it's just the layout for this size of square footage, it's not bad. Yeah, it's great. I'm on the layout. No. Find the price a little high. So that's a that's a high price. High price. Get a lot more money, a lot cheaper than that. Right. And and can you get on a town bus there? Mm. So I know Athabasca is very was very uh touchy. Oh no. Good question. Not a hundred percent sure. I've never seen them. I haven't seen any bus stops, but I could be wrong. Vanessa, there could be some, I don't maybe now, but I'm not sure. Not sure. Two parking spots underground. Yeah, that's that's plus. One underground parking? It says two. Uh one uh two spot, but one could be underground, one could be outside. No, it says underground. Both oh, yeah. underground two parking. Yeah, good. That's plus. So that's a plus. That's yeah, still a high. I, I think it's kind of a high fee. Yeah, it's it's not cheap. So there's one on Madeline. We haven't looked at this area at all either. Yeah, it's close to six eighty one Young. It, yeah, it's across from the. It's a it's it's across from the GO station, but these are like a whole bunch of. It's like a development with a whole bunch of townhouse type. Condos. Yeah. yeah, they are. So they're a little <laughs> different, right? They are. And um, I kind of like them. I don't like the parking there. I find it's very difficult. It's called Young Station. Yep. Um, and they a lot of them do have outdoor areas like balconies. The views, you know, you're looking in on each other, so that kind of sucks. Yep. But I found they were very roomy. Layouts are great. The layouts yep. are good, but yep. there is a lot of stairs. What floor is this on? Well, these are, these are, you walk in on the main level and then you walk up. Correct. Correct. Yes. I know what you're talking about. You know about. what I'm saying? Right. So when you walk in, you got to walk up and then you got to walk up to the bedrooms. Yep. They What's all the have their own laundry. Yep. And most of them do. Yeah. This is the building that fronts on Young Street where they're just actual condos, but the rest of the development is all like yeah. eight or nine units in each building. Stat they're like townhouses have, almost. See, have some townhouses in there too around their corner in that area. Yeah. So the fee is something like that, four eighty seven. Yeah. Mm. Now it is a th almost twelve hundred okay. square feet. Not bad. It's not bad. Again, I go back to if someone's, you know, putting, got, you know, how, you know, insurance, insurance, you know, insurance on this building here on this unit is probably 200 bucks a year. House insurance, you're looking at, you know, eight to a thousand to 1200 bucks. Yeah. Utility on top of it. So people got to keep that in mind, right? They see the fee. And yes, that's, it's, it's that's, that area is probably 10 in that range, six to 10. So, yeah. So I don't find the fee bad for the it's square foot. terrible. Not terrible. No. We're running out of time. All right. Well, I think that gives the viewers a, an idea of the price ranges from four to six. And we've covered off a lot of locations too. That we dug well, into tunnel fees, et cetera. Yeah. And I'm kind of glad that we um what we did do was give people uh ranges all over the town. And if you noticed, um the lower ones, most of them were more in the north, and the higher ones were more in the south, right? 100%. Like yeah, a one-bedroom at Coda was way more money than Lakeview Terrace. 100%. And I don't mind the Lakeview Terrace because they got all the amenities across the road. They're small units, tons of rentals. That's something that's my concern. I don't like the I, – I find them very small. They are small. They're tiny. They're very, very small. Like, that's what I don't like about them. Yeah. 
here's a couple souls before we go. Yep. Oh no. Hold on. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I was gonna say you didn't do condom. Yeah, I didn't. Well, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm I'm close, but we can we can check a couple of those. I yeah. mean, I think I think the issue is that we don't have a lot of flipping souls anyway. No, 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 no. Kind of taking a beating right now. We know why. They are, and I mean, I think I, I historically. Whenever the housing market does shitty, so do the condos. They do. And the condos are being pressured with the rates and the condo fees. Are, some get skewed because when you mortgage qualify, then they're not putting in, oh, the gas is too, and, and water's, it, it's usually 100 bucks, it's 200 bucks. Meanwhile, you're paying five. The time you're done all that stuff, you are. So we're saying a one bedroom, six to 700 square feet, 400, it's sold 30 days. Yep. Clapperton, 420, 33 days on the market, two bedroom. These are a big one. This is a big one, but this one, um, it was, it, it, I'm pretty sure I looked at this. It was like a gut job. It looks great. Look at the parquet flooring, a lot of carpet. It was, yeah, it was like, and it's on the main floor at Clapperton. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. And that sold for 420. Yeah. Surprising. I see. Young Street sold for four fifty seven. Yep. Four fifty seven. One plus one bed. This yeah. is the one in that building on Madeline, off Madeline. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. And I like the layout, sir. That's decent layout. Nothing wrong with that layout at yeah. all. It's almost nine hundred square feet. Four forty eight. Fee. Yeah, he's the price. That's why 13 days and the fee's okay. Mm -hmm. Toronto Street. 555, one bed, one bath, 28 days. Great location, great building. Nice location. This is actually updated in there. It's not bad size. Almost mm -hmm. 900 square feet, but it's only one bedroom. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Not bad. They got That's a money. good friggin' price mark. So two, based on the square footage there, 100%. 619 is the fee. Yep. And you have a pool, you have a gym, you have some amenities there. You Look at the balcony. He's in location. Yep. I yep. like it. <laughs> That's good. All right. I think we've covered off some things. We're running out of time. So any questions on the Barry Condo Market, reach out to myself or Diane. And uh, share the contact, contact, yeah. share the information. Drop Just us a comment. Comments, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, somebody wanted, somebody asked you for a, something for a video between four and 600, right? So, and that's the point. If people have any questions and want us to do certain videos, we, we you know, get to most of them. So please feel free to uh, drop that in the comment too. Yeah, we'll okay. cover it for you. See ya. See ya.